If you don't have any kind of experience with the Linux terminal, you need to familiarize yourself with uh, a few common commands. The first one is uh, print working directory. It actually does what it says it does. It shows you the path of your current directory that you are in. The man invokes the manual so you can see the options, details about a particular application. ls lists the contents of a directory and lsall lists everything in that directory including hidden files, uh, the file permissions or the directory permissions if you have something in that directory and the date of uh, when it was created. cd changes the directory, mkd makes a directory, rmd removes it and by the way um, the simple command rm and then the uh, name of a file it removes a file but this one is for the directory. Copy. Copy is the file to another location. MV moves the file to another location or you can use it to simply rename a file. Locate is used to find the file located on your uh, uh, Linux operating system but you can also use uh, the find command and I will show you how you can do it. Add user uh, will um, add a user, pass wd will change the password for a user, su switches to another user, it stands for switch user. If you type who, you will see which users are logged in at that moment on that machine. sudo will allow you to execute to, um, a command with um, root permissions, touch it, uh, sorry, touch, um, I haven't managed to, or I forgot to write the details about this one. It, um, it's the fastest way to create an empty file. Echo, you can use it to write to a file and cat will display the contents of a file tail will display the last uh, 10 lines by default of that content file nano is a text editor vim is also a text editor you can use it to edit your um, um, files df will list the available disk space change mod will change the permissions for a file or a directory change ownership changes the um, owner of a file or directory uh, you can um, change it to different users top displays the resources uh, being used uh, on your system and you can press q to exit yeah if config displays the network configuration and uh, clear clears your screen. Now let's jump into the um, command line and log back in again using uh, root and tor as a password. And we will have to click on terminal. Let me make the let me make it bigger. I think uh, right now it's quite good. And uh, let's see where we are using PWD. And right now we are in the home folder of fruit. Let's do a ls, a list command. And these are all the contents that are here. Uh, if we want to see more options about uh, this command, we can do a man and then ls. And here we can see the name, some kind of uh, description, 
of what it does and here you have some options like minus a or all a little bit about the offer directory and so on so i will press q to quit this one and i will do an ls minus all and right now you can see all the contents of this directory uh, this is a hidden file because it starts with uh, a dot and this is a hidden directory because it has uh, the same dot in front of the name these are your um, permissions and this is the owner of the um, file here and this is the work group that um, that current user is part of okay so let's change directory let's go to desktop by the way you can hit uh, tab if you want to be faster and let's see what we have here in this directory we don't have anything at this very moment so um, let's create a new directory let's say mkdir Kali, why not? And right now let's list. We can see that the directory was created and you can see it also right here. We can remove the directory if we want. RM dear Kali and it disappears. And um, let's create a file right now. Uh, and uh, let's use uh, touch let's say test dot txt and the file was created if we will um, cat to see what's inside you will see that is empty now let's write something uh, in it let's say um, echo hello world and then we will do a greater than and the name of the file test let's get to see what's inside and there you go it uh, it is written there uh, if we will do um, echo and then let's just say hello again followed by a greater than and then the test dot txt and if we will cut it you can see that uh, the file actually got overwritten so if you would uh, want to introduce um, a new line in the text we will need to do two greater than signs like echo this is or let's say how are you doing followed by two greater than signs and then the file name right now let's get and you can see that a new line was added we could also use um, another two editors like nano And here, um, let's let's simply add a space between these two lines. Yeah. And right now we will uh, do Control plus O key to write or to save it. And right now we can do a Control X to exit. And let's get again. And there you go there is the space between the lines let's use uh, right now um, vim or uh, most of the people usually use uh, vi like i do and let's take uh, the space between the lines out i will hit i for insert and delete the space and right now to save it i will do a uh, escape 
colon sign, W, Q, and exclamation mark to force it. Let's get again for the test. And there you go. The space disappeared. Now let's copy this um, file to another file. Copy file name and let's copy it to the same location desktop not to another location if you would want to copy to another location you need to do root or for example if you leave it like this you're going to put it on the root directory but in this case i will just um, copy this uh, file to the same location that we are in right now which is desktop and I'm going to say the new name will be test underscore copy dot txt and right now we can see right here that we have two files and they should have the same content To remove a file name, we can do rm and then the file name like this, and you can see it disappearing. Or if we want to rename our file from test.txt to, let's say, test underscore file.txt, we can do it like this. And uh, you will see it uh, being renamed. Uh, to list it, you can also use the tail. But uh, it will show you only the last 10 lines. But since we have two, it will show only uh, two to us. Let's say that uh, we would like to find um, a file on our Linux uh, OS, which starts with... Um, or it contains test inside of it. So we can do locate test. And then you can see a bunch of uh, files. Let's clear the screen right now. Now let's say that um, we will need to find um, or to search for a file uh, in a specific um, uh, directory or like more like a relative path. Let's say, by the way, if you don't know the difference between the relative path and the absolute path, uh, let me explain it to you. So the relative path to um, test file.txt uh, is actually, it can be either uh, root or for example root and then desktop directory the absolute path is exactly this one that i'm going to show you right here so this would be your absolute path when this one or this one can be your relative path so um, let's try to search for um, this file name using uh, the relative path and i will do a find for slash root and um, then i will use a pipe then grep for some file which contains uh, the word test inside of it or in the name of it sorry and this is how it looks like yeah you can see it uh, also here in the trash and it's quite easy i would say if uh, you would be interested, for example, to see who else is logged uh, on, on your machine that uh, you are currently working on the terminal, you can type who 
and um, it will display you the usernames which are uh, logged on. Let's add the user right now with add user command. Let's call our user Smith and hit enter. Okay, it looks like the username should be with uh, small letters. Okay, and right now it's okay. Let's uh, do a password for this user. The, the full name, okay. Room number, we don't care. Work phone, we don't care. Home, we don't care. Other, is the information correct naturally? Right now, let's check if our user was created. Uh, to do this, we can do a cat for the password file, and here you can say the here you can see the user that we have created, Smith. Let's clear the screen and uh, switch the user to Smith. And as you can see, previously we were logged in as root. You might have noticed that the um, palm sign changed to a dollar sign and the uh, root user changed to Smith. Now that we are logged in as a user, let's try to change the password for this user using passwd. And you need to enter your current password. and enter a new password. Okay, everything is correct. And let's try to see if we can modify the test file that we have created on desktop. Let's do a nano and then test file. And it says here with red that um, this file is unreadable so definitely we will need some uh, root permissions uh, let's do in this case sudo and then the name of the file uh, sorry followed by nano and the name of the file we will type our password Okay, and uh, it appears that our user Smith is not in the sudoers file. And uh, right now, um, it will a log will be created for the audit file in um, uh, the Linux system. So let's add this user to the sudoers file. First, we will need to go back as root. Okay. Clear the screen. We will use user mod followed by minus A and capital G sudo and then our username Smith. If we will switch back to the user Smith, and uh, try to do a nano. Sorry, sudo nano, then our file name. We will need to enter the password for user Smith. Uh, we can actually edit the file without any problems, as you can see. And let's write it. Save the change. Let's exit right now. And we can do a cat for the file name. Yeah. And you can see that the change was happening. Now let's change the ownership of this file from root to our Smith user. Because right now you can see that uh, it's owned by, by the root user. So I'm going to do 
sudo change ownership then um, the username and the file name or the directory depending on your case and right now we should see it changed and you can see that it worked the change mod will uh, change the permissions and I'm gonna do a change mod and then um, 777 777 is like uh, access for everything and because we don't care about uh, file management it's just for uh, pen testing purposes or hacking purposes you don't really care about the the file permissions okay and right now our file name and we should see all permissions changing here now let's see our uh, disk space with df minus h h is for you human and you can see the available space here but if you like to more um, um, if you like to know more details about um, uh, the files on your current directory you can do a du minus sh followed by a star and it will show you everything that you have and right now we have our uh, text file which takes uh, four kilobytes let's check the processes that we are running right now and here you can find the process id the user which is executing it and the command used for it here you can see the cpus the memory the swap and for cpus if i'm gonna hit on one it will gonna show you all your cores and the usage and if i'm gonna do a t it will change to something like a percentage and right now we are using something like four percent there is another application which displays it more nicely it's called htop so i will show you right now how you can uh, install something on uh, debian with apt get install and then the name of the application in our case it's uh, htop and of course we will need to do sudo in front of it ah okay htop was uh, already installed so no need for uh, a new version and if i will do an htop you can see how nicely it looks right now you have basically the same information but in a much better way I would say okay let's uh, quit you can use uh, F10 to quit or simply press Q on your keyboard and quit or Ctrl plus C to break and there is only one um, last command that you'd necessarily need to know is called if config but before that let me clear the screen if config and here you can see your current IP address uh, your broadcast address uh, this is the Mac the Mac address and um, interfaces Ethernet 0 and loopback 0 There is another command which you might find it useful to find your gateway you can do route minus n and our current gateway is 10.0.2.2 if you want to see your um, dns or if you would like to edit the dns configuration you can do a cat etsy and then resolve sorry resolve.conf yeah and currently this is our uh, dns server more than this uh, if you like to get in touch with your um, host file you can do a cat 
etsy and then hosts and you can see it here the loopback is local host or kelly Thanks for watching the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like the video, uh, subscribe and uh, click on the notification bell icon to be notified when a new video is uploaded.